Finding out what lies beneath Lake Erie is being taken to new depths with the help of this large ship. You may have noticed it around the area over the past month or so. Yeah, it's a big one. And our Neil Fisher explores the importance it has to our region and what's ahead. The NOAA ship Thomas Jefferson is using sonar to map the bottom of Lake Erie, primarily because the port of Cleveland is one of the top 50 most used ports in the country. The bottom of Lake Erie is above the top of Lake Ontario. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration prioritized mapping the Great Lakes years ago, and now they are here, focusing on Lake Erie which hasn't been surveyed since the 1940s. So what we're doing is we're collecting data to update the nautical charts or the maps that ships use to get in and out of port safely. And so every little dot is an individual ping. Safety is key because the depth of the water can determine which ships can go where. It matters because almost all of our commerce is shipped by vessel. The Thomas Jefferson spends most of its time mapping the ocean, either the east coast or the Gulf Coast, but is in the Great Lakes for the first time. The crew trying to take advantage of their time usually goes out for two to three weeks at a time and is operating night and day. Our most efficient method of running is if the ship is collecting data for 24 hours a day and both launches are going out for about 10 hours a day. So that gives us about 46 hours worth of data collected in one 24 hour span. Scientists aboard the Thomas Jefferson use different sonar systems to detect the depth of the lake floor. In the side scan sonar, it's the same principle. It uses sound, but instead of using measuring the time that it takes for the sound to come back, like the multi-beam sonar, the side scan sonar measures the, it measures the intensity of the return. All of this data recorded and verified, so ships and mariners know what lies beneath Lake Erie. The NOAA ship Thomas Jefferson will be working on Lake Erie until October, then it will head back home to Virginia. For 3 News, I'm Neil Fisher.